except for that often intimidating dark alley, the foul line, the 94 feet by 50 feet neighborhood of Mr. James bore a striking resemblance to his zone for some stretches of play during Tuesday evening's ECF Game 2 at the TD Garden. But LeBron James's virtuoso low, triple-double performance was upstaged by the sweet harmonies and boogie-woogie backbeat of Brad Stevens's swingin' and skifflin' jive aces. By the way, skiffle is a kind traditional, bluesy roots music most known for the use of non-traditional, especially homemade instruments, a washboard, a bass fiddle made out of an old fence, etc. Rather a fitting analogy for our battling boys, I'm inclined to think. Skifflin through the conference finals, yet again. Summative equation, boss 49 conversions, 7, stripes, 10th rays, minus, 3 missed FTs, equals, 7 stripes, cleave 43 conversions, 3, stripes, 10th rays, minus, 7 missed FTs, equals, 3 stripes, expected outcome, 6 conversions, 4 stripe, equals, C's win by 16 points actual score, Boston 107, Cleveland 94 the algebra of the game first quarter FG, C's 9 to 20, 0 .450, Cleave 11 to 24, 0 .458, FG, Seas 4 to 8, 0 .500, cleave 4 to 10, 0 .400, FT, Seas 1 to 2, 0 .500, 1, cleave 1 to 4, 0 .250, 2, 2, Seas 3, cleave 2, OR, Seas 1, O, team, cleave 4, 1, team, pause, Seas 23, cleave 23, CV percent, Seas 10, 20 thirds, 0 .435, cleave 13, 20 thirds, 0 .565, scoreboard and LBJ's anticipated outburst notwithstanding. Cav coach Ty Lue blinked first, in response to an Al Horford three ball to pull Boston within 12-10 when he burnt a timeout at 6.46 of Q1. Correct me if I'm wrong here, would not the first stoppage in play under 7 o'clock invoke a mandatory to charge to the home team? Now maybe I'm overthinking this, but if I'm coach Lue, I don't want to be, potentially, giving Brad Stevens an extra in-game strategy session, to be. Used at his discretion, now do I. Worth noting is that Coach Brad did give his counterpart every opportunity to go on and use up another in Q1's only other mandatory, this time, to came at 205, brought on by a Marcus Smart personal foul. Second quarter FG, sees 10 to 24, 0.417, cleave 10 to 17, 0.5893 FG, sees 1 to 6, 0.167, cleave 3 to 4, 0.750 FT, sees 4 to 4, 1.0002, cleave 5 to 8, 0.625, 3, 2, sees 1, cleave 5 OR, sees 2, 1, team, cleave 2. 0 team, pause, sees 24, cleave 23 CV percent, sees 12 24 0 0.500, 0 .500, cleave 13 23 0.565 on Boston's 8th possession of Q2, Terry Rozier committed one of his rare postseason miscues, his only two of the game, I might add, an errant pass swiped by Larry Nance Jr., the C's 4th 2 in just 31 possessions. Other than the 24-second violation they accepted on the 94th and final scoring opportunity of the ballgame, Stevens's squadron committed one turnover from that point on. Cleveland scored just five points after twos, the C's lowest yield of this postseason. Third quarter FG, sees 14 to 25.560, cleave 9 to 22, 0.4093 FG, sees 5 to 10, 0 0.500, cleave 3 to 9, 0.333 FT, sees 3 to 3, 1.000, 1, cleave 1 to 1, 1 0.000, 0, 0, 0, 2, sees 0, cleave 2 OR, sees 3. 0 team, cleave 2 0 team, pause, sees 23, cleave 22 CV percent, sees 15 20 thirds, 0 0.652, cleave 9 20 seconds, 0 0.409 on the heels of a Kevin Love 3 point bullseye with 140 left in Q3, Coach Stevens quickly called one of his now familiar late quarter situational timeouts. He's been interrupting Al Horford's normal second-half resting pattern with some spot duty in recent games, and that was part of the plan again. 
Brad had reason, despite the love tray, to be pleased with his team's Q3 performance to that point, they'd converted 11 of their previous 15 possessions while inverting a 7-point halftime deficit into a 2-point advantage. The C's defense induced one in Duns from James and Love, the offense delivered an assisted deuce and tray in its three tries. Though Horford was quickly back on the bench, in lieu of Greg Monroe, the stout Boston, D, opened Q4 with five straight stops. By then, a comfortable double-digit lead was in place. Fourth quarter FG, sees 7-23.304, Cleve 7-17.4123 FG, sees 0-7.000, Cleve 0-8.000 FT, sees 9-11.8185, Cleve 3-4.75012, sees 2, Cleve 7 OR, sees 5 1, team, Cleve 1, team, pause, sees 24, Cleve 24 CV percent, sees 12 24 .500, Cleve 8 24 Fourths, 0.333 Boston's Torrid, 56%, Q3 FG shooting cooled significantly as they misfired on 11 of their first 15 attempts in the home stretch. Cavs kept plugging away, and of James, and one, layup trimmed the lead to single figures with 5.14 on the clock. But leave it to Jay. R. Smith to commit a brainless, flagrant foul on Horford, who cashed in both the FTs and the bonus possession, that triggered a rash of Cleveland turnovers and ultimately coach Tyrone Lue's white flag of surrender. Full game FG, sees 40-92.435, Cleve 37-80.4633 FG, sees 10-31.323, Cleve 10-31.323 FT, sees 17-20.8509, Cleve 10-17.588862, sees 6, Cleve 16. OR, sees 11 2, team, Cleve 8 2, team, POS, sees 94, Cleve 92 CV percent, sees 49 94 521, Cleve 43 90 seconds, 467 Note recalculations, the number of possessions, is an accurate count, not a formula-based estimated value. purposes of clarity, the bracketed digit following the FT percent is the exact count of conversions, represented by those FTAs. Possessions, Calculation, FGAs, FT Conversions, 2s, ORs, including Team ORs, Conversions, Calculation, FGs, FT Conversions, Abacus Revelation for the road in the first half, Cleveland outworked Boston on the offensive board 7-4, to a point disparity of 8-2. to two. In second half, Boston outworked Cleveland on the offensive boards 9 to 3 a point disparity of 9 to 2. Images, AP, USA Today, Denver Post, WKYC.com Abacus reveals May 16, 2018 1 hour 52 minutes and 0 seconds PM Tweet edit, blank, underscore, blank, underscore, blank, next post.